Well, they say butterflies come by when an angel is near, and that sentiment has meant the world to a local man who lost his daughter. Frank O'Donnell's efforts to honor his daughter's memory are being felt across the country. He's sending seeds to people in hopes of saving monarch butterflies. 12 News reporter Sheena Lasciuto has the story that's new tonight. Sheena? Well, Frank says he's always heard of people seeing signs from loved ones who have passed away, but this effort has really validated that for him. After hearing so many other people say butterflies have meant so much to them after losing someone special. A garden is a place to grow like a home is a place to live. It's all memorial. And Carrie's garden is home to the idea that one person's memory can make a difference. I mean, I don't want to speak for someone who's not here, but I think she would be happy. I would be happier if we weren't doing this, but yeah, we're kind of keeping her alive in a little bit, just a little bit. Carrie O'Donnell was 15 when she died in a car crash in 2010. You'll notice a butterfly next to her father, Frank O'Donnell. Monarchs, in particular, have held a special meaning to him since she died. I mean, the story is, you know, one visited us after Kerry's funeral and stuck around for a while. And that's why he's trying to help them survive, one seed packet at a time. I mean, this is what they look like. Um, and that's, some of them are still on their delivery system. But, yeah, so I'm putting, I don't know, 15 maybe in a packet and just sending them out. And hopefully some of them will, will take. In January, he started offering milkweed seeds grown in Carrie's memorial garden to those who wanted to help. They'll go to any flower to get nectar. But when it's time to lay their eggs, it's on a uh, butterfly weed or a, a milkweed. Uh, so that's, that's why it's important. One article in the Boston Globe and about 200 emails later, he now has plans to send them to all 50 states. Strangers have shared stories of their own loss with him and how one orange butterfly brought them comfort in a time of grief, just like it did for Frank more than a decade ago. And I do want to get the, uh, to the people that uh, have that bond with monarchs and the others, I'll just let them know I ran out but I'll put you on the list for next year because next year I expect I'll have a whole lot more. So. And at this point, Frank is overwhelmed with the number of requests he's getting for seeds, but he wants to keep it going. This is just the beginning of a big effort for him starting right here in Rhode Island. I'm Sheena Lushudo, 12 News.